Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to show you everything Dynamic Island can do on the iPhone 17, 17 Pro, 17 Pro Max and iPhone Air. From face ID and charging animations to music controls, sports and hidden tricks. This is your complete Dynamic Island tutorial. Let's get started. All right, so this is Dynamic Island. It's at the top of your phone. It houses your front facing camera. And what it does is perform various tasks and allow you to see different animations based on what you're doing. So for a quick example, let's just open up the clock app here and I'm going to set up a stopwatch. We'll hit start. And once it starts and you exit the app, you'll see that the dynamic island now takes effect. It's grown into whatever this is and you can see the options you have within it. So we know that's the app. We have our time down here. If we tap on it, it'll open the app back up. If we press and hold on it, we'll get quick settings, almost like a little widget version of the island. It'll grow into this where we can pause our timer here. In this case, we can play, we can reset a second lap here, and we can just swipe up to bring it back to its smaller dynamic island. Now, while you have something in your dynamic island, you can actually open up multiple applications at the same time. So if you are playing some music in a music app, we'll just open this up and hit play here. And now you can see the dynamic island has branched off into a small island. Our music is now in the middle. So whichever one you open up second will then appear. Tap and hold on it. These are the options you get. You can pause, skip ahead, go back. You can modify or scroll ahead and you have this option here which pulls up at the bottom and you'll notice now with dynamic island things will appear at the bottom in certain scenarios so you can actually in this case connect to other devices if you had airpods and things like that as well you can just tap away it'll bring it back to the dynamic island like that and you still have access to the other option there as well it works the same way you can just tap on it to open it or tap on that one now if you add a third action here so for example if we want to create a workout and we hit play this is what happens it's going to start the workout and if we exit the app it's nowhere to be found it's not really a glitch but i guess it can only house two different uh, applications or actions in dynamic island you can always swipe away if you don't want one of these actions so it'll clear it out so if we didn't want music you just swipe that music is still playing in the background if i pull here you can see it's still playing but now we have the timer that we set up as well as our workout here and if we have workouts in our dynamic island we can tap and hold and we can do things like this see the clock total calories active calories pause and then add second segments if we wanted to as well so workouts are a great option within dynamic island i like it i use them a lot now the phone app ties in to dynamic island as well so if i just send out a call here you'll see on the iphone dynamic island appears with this call so i get my contact poster or my avatar as well and from here you can answer hang up you can tap on it it'll open up the complete card here if you swipe back up from here it'll go into a small dynamic island and when it goes to voicemail it disappears now when you plug your iphone to a charger dynamic island will also enable here and this works with both charging via the cable or if you use wireless charging, you can see the dynamic island extends and then disappears. And continuing on with battery, if you ever have low power under 20%, this dynamic island will appear and you can actually tap on it to turn on low power mode, tap on it again to turn it off. But once you swipe it up, it will disappear. Now, one of my favorite features with Dynamic Island is live scores. And this is really cool if you're into sports. So if I just open up, for example, the score app here, and I'm into this game, I can just click this star up here, the match added to lock screen, you're now following live scores. That's just with this app. Right away when I swipe up, it's now in Dynamic Island right there. I can see the live score. I can tap and it'll open up the game for me in that specific application, even on the lock screen. As it said there, if I unlock my phone, I've got the live score down here. If I open my phone again, swipe up, there's my live score. And it works really well. You tap and hold. It's going to give you more information about that score or that a certain event based on the app that allows that. So you should try this out with different apps if you're into sports 
and see how it works for you. But I definitely use it a lot. And I tend to use the Score app, just has a lot of different sports on there. Now, if you're a heavy user of the Action button, I actually just created a full tutorial if you wanna check it out right there. But if you use your action button, if you press and hold on it, for example, I have mine using the flashlight, you'll be able to see that integration right there in Dynamic Island. So I can press and hold to turn it on or off and you'll see it works just like that. But even if you're using just a simple silence, everything you do here is going to show up. So if I silence my phone, it'll look like that. If you have focus modes enabled and you need them a lot, you just press and hold and it'll show you up there that your focus mode is off or on. If you like to use the camera app, it'll launch the camera app there and you see the little animation that appeared up top. Visual intelligence, if you have that set up, you can see the icon appears at the top there. So you can actually use some Apple intelligence features built into this as well. But one of my favorites is how it integrates with translation. So if you have translation set up and you press and hold, you'll see it'll start translating right away. You configure this first. And when you stop talking, it'll appear right here. You can tap the play, it'll start playing. I've got it on silent so you don't hear it, but it'll work just like that. And uh, it's a really good feature, especially if you're in another country to just be able to quickly press and hold there to translate and get instructions or ask for things on the go. If you configure your action button to work with Siri, it'll open up, you'll see the initial Siri around, but you also get that little icon up there. So when you're talking to Siri, you'll see that as well. Now, some quick tips that you can use with Dynamic Islands, pretty fun, I think so anyway. You're gonna open your settings application and you wanna go to wallpaper. You wanna get wallpapers, look them up online and find ones that are unique that fit like the Dynamic Island, like this one here. So it's like this Goku hanging from the Dynamic Island or my favorite is this one, the Minions. And you can see he's like hanging from the top and I'll just set it as current right there. So now if I exit, you'll see how it looks on my home screen here. And it's best on the lock screen as you can see right there. He's just hanging from the top. Really cool. I like these. Very unique. You can find some really awesome ones that tie into it and really make the effect of Dynamic Island look a lot better and more fun. But there's a lot more you can do with this as well, like voice memo recordings. If you do map navigation, you'll actually get to see your directions. If you have food delivery like Uber or DoorDash, you'll be able to track those deliveries. Ride shares like Lyft and things as well. You can also set up live activities and that's like sports scores and live games. You'll be able to see that information there. Transit apps like bus arrivals or workout apps like if you're set up with Apple Fitness Plus. Flight trackers do this, delivery packages and things like that. But that is everything you can do with Dynamic Island on the iPhone 17, iPhone 17 Pro, iPhone 17 Pro Max, and iPhone Air. However, if you have an older iPhone, this was available from the iPhone 14's Pro or later. Also, if you found my Dynamic Island tutorial helpful, check out my full iPhone 17 playlist of tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you get the most out of your iPhone. The link to that series is in the video description. And I have tons of iPhone 17 Pro setup tutorials on my channel. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell notification box so you're notified when I post new videos and enjoy these hidden features of the iPhone 17 that we've been going over the last few days. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.